Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Jesse DePlantis here. I hope you're enjoying our YouTube videos. That's why you don't want to miss anything. So like this video, subscribe to our channel, and hit that notification bell so you will know when new content has been posted. That's like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. So right now, watch this and be blessed. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for tuning in to Faith to Facts. Well, we're coming up on the year 2023. So what are you going to do in that year? I want to talk about a year of limitless possibilities. All things are possible to them that believe. Then say some things. Or maybe once in a while. No, all things are possible. We always say it like it's all, all things are impossible. No, no. When you understand God's word, all things are possible to them that believe. Look what he says in Ephesians chapter 3, verse 20 and 21. Now unto him was able to do exceedingly abundantly above all. Notice the word all. That we can ask or think. Now that's getting big. Ask is big, but thinking is even bigger. According to the power that worketh in us. What power works in you? The power of the Holy Spirit living inside of you. The name of Jesus, the power of eternity to use that name. See what I'm saying? In other words, you become him, and S is when you use his name. Watch this. According to the power that working in us, unto him be glory in the church. By Christ Jesus throughout all ages, world without end, amen, which means so be it. So you can have a year, and you will have a year of limitless possibilities. So what do you believe in God for? We're about ready to step over into this, this new year. What? What? It can be spiritual, it can be physical, it can be financial, it can be all three. It doesn't make no difference. You're not going to exhaust God's possibility. You're not going to exhaust anything because he said you can ask or think. Look what he says in 1 Corinthians 2 verse 9. But as it is written, I have not seen, nor ear heard, neither have entered into the heart of man the things which God hath prepared for them that love him. It's your thing. Do what you want to do. Praise God. Can't you see that? Do you understand what I'm saying here? Do you realize how powerful this is? It makes no difference what the devil does or going to do. He's under your feet. Let me read it again. 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 9. But as it is written, I have not seen. Now, I've seen a lot of stuff. Nor ear heard. I've heard a lot of stuff. Neither have entered into the heart of man. Oh, man, I've had a lot of stuff <laughs> in my heart. The things which God had prepared, not preparing, prepared. He's already done this for them that love him. Ask yourself a question today. Do you really love the Lord? Do you really do? I mean, not so you can just bless you, but just to say, Lord, you know, without you, I would not exist. I might be living on the earth, but I, I wouldn't be existing. Because when you, when you don't have Christ in you, you got problems. Now, you face that fact and watch God do one of the greatest marvelous miracles that you'll ever see in your life because he's already prepared it. All you got to do is sit down and eat the dinner. It's already been prepared. Do you see that? And then people say, yeah, but, but Jesse, you can't just ask anything. Yes, you can. St. John 14, verses 12, 13, and 14. Verily, verily, I say unto you, that's us. He that believeth on me, the works that I do shall he do also, and greater works than these shall he do. Because I go to my Father. Whatsoever you shall ask in my name, ooh, that will I do. Why, God, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. Now, are you ready for the next one? If you shall ask anything, anything, boy, is that limitless possibilities? I will do it. Go read it. St. John 14, verses 12, 13, and 14. It's in red. Jesus said it. See, that's why I just live in this state of ecstasy. <laughs> that's not a drug. I ain't talking about the drug. That stuff way off. I, you know, no, no. I'm talking about on a daily basis, not just a Sunday basis. That's why I believe the unbelievable. I receive the impossible. 
because it's doable, because of these kind of verses that are in the Bible that God says, I've already prepared, man. Oh, you got to do it. See, before you ever got saved, he already prepared salvation for you. Before you ever got sick, he already prepared healing for you. Before you were going, you were broke and my God, he's prepared finance for you. So don't let nobody hinder you or put barricades to the blessing saying that's impossible. That's why you believe it. All you can ask or think. What you gonna ask today? Hmm. What you gonna think today? Ooh, now we're getting big. According to that power that worketh in us, you faith that fact. And that fact will come to pass and the world will see that you have something they never thought was possible. Christ in you the hope of glory. Remember this, a year of limitless possibilities is awaiting you. Take it. See you next week. This media is copyrighted by Jesse Duplantis Ministries for the private use of our audience. Any other use of this media or of any pictures or accounts without Jesse Duplantis Ministries' consent is strictly prohibited.